The name of the movie is Glory. 1989. This movie's as old as my wife is. The Army of the Potomac. All right, let's get it. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, I am almost positive. I'm not going to comment on the, the visuals too much in this movie. I'm almost positive. Oh, my God. I mean, for the time, I'm guessing. Maybe. Or maybe it looks like this because of the, the fact that it has been upscaled to 4K. Uh, could be. Because it's a... It's an extremely noisy image. Uh, noisy image meaning like the there's like a lot of like unnecessary grain everywhere. But I'm guessing if I would have seen this on VHS, most likely it wouldn't look as uh, crazy as it does here. But all right, let's do it. But is it historically accurate? Was that Ferris Bueller? It is. Um, so, um, what's this guy's name? Broderick, I think. Something Broderick. That the heart's blessing can heal and that love can overcome all odds. All right, guys, so as of right now, this movie is in fact written like a masterpiece. Didn't mean to hit the mic like that. Apologies, right? But it's definitely written like this won a lot of awards. For God's sake, come on! Oh! Man, the head just... Yeah, bro, I mean, there's no cover at all here. Yeah, bro, I don't think your first day went well. I don't think so. Uh, but alright. Uh, definitely a waste of human life here, guys. We'll go ahead and point that out. Oh, you made it. You all right there, Cam? Definitely also scored like a gigantic budgeted movie. It's coming out of his ear by the looks of it. You can imagine the, the overall sound. Mm, okay. Where's the chloroform? Please don't cut anymore, please! Please! She might hurt you, Captain. I'm sorry. Just trying to get a grasp of the story here, guys. Is it just about him? Like his experience? There's a shortage of housing. Robert, are you all right? Yes. Sorry. Robert, darling. There's He's still a little uh, um, shell-shocked, guys. General Hunter. I understand you were at Antietam. Yes. A great and a terrible day. I'm called great. I could use your help, Robert. To those who have known only degradation. Colored soldiers, Rob. Just think of it. Wonderful. I've submitted your name, Robert, to be commissioned colonel of the 54th Massachusetts Infantry. Yeah, you're going to take that. Right. Colonel. Oh, yeah, that's his. Splendid job, young man. I mean, he does seem somewhat conflicted, though. What's the matter, Chester? Bro, fix your shirt, bro. F fix fix everything that's that's going on. A little punch? disheveled. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't think he thinks like this guy here. I'm going to do it. Like, in general. Can you picture me in charge of a regiment? Not the one that he's about to lead, based off of a couple of things we've encountered so far since knowing you. Then I am your first volunteer. You've, from what it looks like, is that you, you've, you've lived a soft life compared to other people that look like you, specifically at this time, right? You absolutely have. 
I am, I mean, listen, I understand. Wait a second. I'm not sure this is going to turn out how you think this is going to turn out. Um, the first. Oh, uh, maybe if it was like the second, then okay, sure, why not? Um, but I understand, you know, this is your country too, right? But let's do it. Yeah, but I do think every single uh, person that was held in bondage would absolutely rush uh, to join this. I'm telling you, they would absolutely be like, all right, let's do this. <clears throat> but the other guy, Thomas, I don't know. I mean, again, your country too, right? Do your thing. But I'm not sure this is a great idea for you, sir. I am Colonel Robert Gould Shaw. Gould. I am your commanding officer. Peter Gould. It is a great pleasure to see you all here today. Oh, is this your pet or something? 1862. Hey guys, uh, I definitely hope that we get an explanation for why this goat is following this man. Oh, I like it when niggas talk good as white folk. Denzel. I'd be happy to teach you. I am a free man, as was my father before me. Oh, you free nigga. Smell that. Yes. Hey, would you put that? Hey, boy, put that drum. Denzel is playing a, a very interesting character here. He learned, right, through the attitudes of the day, uh, a little bit of self-hatred, because that's what it looks like. It smells like it. What's your name, right? Boy. Well, he's, I guess he's a boy. So what's your name, what? Yeah, I don't like it. that he's mute? He what? He's mute. Yeah, I ran away when I was 12 years old. I ain't never looked back. What you doing since then? I run for president. <laughs> I win, uh, though. Right. <laughs> Captain? So, uh, how was your meal? Hey, bro, I'm not sure this is appropriate. But I'm also not sure you know that this is not appropriate. Uh, the remoulade was a trifle. I won't permit that kind of fraternization. <laughs> it's only Thomas. He's an enlisted man. Yep. You're right, of course. You're not friends, bro. Help. Not anymore. Jesus Christ, we're gonna be here day and night till we get this right. Oh, what? Hey, did you just pick out a, a former overseer? What? Company? You are ugly Mexican African whores. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Company! Yeah, he smells like an overseer, Chris. <gasps> Wait a second. Did how did drill sergeants learn to be drill sergeants? Like, I'm not saying that the obvious every single drill sergeant has, you know, is that. But what I'm trying to say is, where did they learn it from? What's the original state of the of the drill sergeant? Is that like a conspiracy? Did I just make up a conspiracy? I mean, yeah. Oh, for God's sake, man. Do you not know your right from your left? Probably not. Yes, sir. Right. This is your ear. This is your right. And this. Now you're learning, boy -o. Oh, boy -o. Absolutely. Uh, overseer. Somebody. Right. Call them Japanese next. You know the Irish are not noted for their fondness for the color. But it made that's why they made great overseers. Absolutely. And probably also the, the reason why there are specifically in like the Massachusetts area and um in North Carolina area, there are a lot of what's called black Irish. Uh, a lot of them, right? The, the like straight descendants of of just Overseers, you know, fondling female slaves, right? And then this is a gigantic population. Absolutely huge. It's massive. They must have had to learn this from long hours of meaningless and inhuman work. Basically, yes. 
conditioned. Oh no. Chromatic apparitions. You guys were doing so well filming this, you know, definitely, in terms of like angles and, and shot placements. Everything was so great. Until you recognize that there's there are lens issues everywhere all over the all over oh no. Assemble the men. That's the only shot so far though. Full discharges will be granted in the morning to all those who apply. They're not leaving. Your officers it's though. It's I don't know. If you're not here in the morning. I understand. I think he's gonna be though. Him specifically. Yeah, I'm leaning towards he's gonna be here. I don't think a single soldier is gonna leave. Like I'll be truly surprised if he is not there. If he leaves, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that uh, he is uh, definitely going to get like some type of promotion, most likely. How many are left? All of them. They're not, they're not going nowhere. Like they actually have a lot to fight for. I have no doubt that you are a fair man, Monkey. I wonder if you are treating these men too hard. I mean, this is a thing. Uh, no. No, I think that this is absolute. Well, it looks. I think it looks terrible on the outside, um, but I think he is doing exactly what is most likely required um, to to toughen and harden them up uh, to the harsh realities of a battlefield. Okay, um, like I can say, and you can say, and anyone can literally say anything, but I think if we actually logic it out, this is what's required. It looks terrible, though. I, you putting your hands on him, that's probably, that's that's where the line kind of gets a little weird, right? But uh, you can say all, you can say whatever you want to say. It's crazy. I was waiting for you to call him Japanese, right? Just understand this here. Um, you do kind of exude overseer vibes from the 1800s, right? Um, but again, I think that this is specifically required in this uh, state. And the fact that he didn't leave in the morning. Interesting, right? The boy's your friend, is he? We grew up together, yes. Let him grow up some more. Dismissed. All right. Yeah, right. Remember that soft life that I was talking about, guys? Uh, yeah, I don't even know why you did this, bro. I don't. I truthfully don't understand why you joined this. Because many people in his scenario, even still to today, do not do this. The majority of all of the armed forces are from areas and and, and places, right, where they may have a, they may have had somewhat of a harder life, and they're trying to escape said harder life. Right? That's normally it. Unless they're running for politics, keep this in mind. Unless they're running for politics. They're probably not going to join any type of armed forces. Um, and that's the part that's a little wild when you actually look at where the people are actually coming from. Right? It could be a small town in Mississippi. And, you know, he grew, the, the kid grew up, um, uh, you know, underfed, impoverished. He joined the military to kind of escape that, to give it, to get a better life. Right? That's normally how that, that, story goes or the kid from i don't know massachusetts he he went to harvard he wants to run for president so what am i gonna do i'm gonna join the armed forces hopefully get a job that's not gonna put me on the front lines or anything oriented to that right um, because i have connections i'm gonna get out and say that i was in the military and then everyone around me is going to then praise me because i grew up like this and then i went to the military so it's always it's when you start getting up into like like tax brackets, right? Uh, the higher tax brackets, you'll realize that a lot of it is just that they're not going for for duty duty to country. It's not that at all, right? It's just um, give me recognition so you can so I can kind of 
fool the masses and you can vote me into whatever office I'm trying to get into. Most likely president. But all right. One, eight, six. Davison. Yes. One, two, Robert. Yeah, let's just go ahead and wreck the firing pin before we even do anything with it. Don't bother about him. He's just ignorant. Excuse me. He is, in fact, ignorant. You're a good shot, Private. Thank you, sir. Squirrel hunt. Faster! Load! Faster! Do it! Do it! Point well proven. Do it! Do it! You got it? Teach them properly, Major. Like, there's a, a big difference from people who stay in the range exclusively, who have never, like, hunted, uh, specifically with one of their firearms, right? Um, you can generally pick them out um, pretty quickly, right, whenever you actually do take them out onto a hunting trip or any type of hunting-oriented, uh, you know, uh, excursion. Um, it's by how... how Often they miss their shot after being so cocky. Uh, they'll be like, oh, you know, I, I I, always hit the paper. The paper's not moving. There's no sense of urgency, right? There's a big difference. I would say um, it's much better to learn how to shoot um, on fast moving targets, right? When your only option for dinner tonight is if you literally bag that hog right there, all right? You need that. That deer, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying here, guys? Uh, something fast moving is is a much better or more indicative of a of an actual shooter right? uh, than anything else. I'm not saying that that's still the same you know, level of stress as actually being shot at while trying. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That has not been my scenario, right? At all, at all, right? So I don't know if my um, <laughs> if my my accuracy. I think I'm pretty accurate, but um. I don't know if my accuracy can stand up to being shot at while shooting. Generally, it's just, you know, we're going to go ahead and get that, get that boar today. <laughs> uh, but preferably not a boar. You know, men meat tastes nasty. Double entendre. Better? Why do you treat the men this way, Robin? What do you talk? Treat them. He he is. Am I reading this wrong? <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with what he's doing. Does that make me a psychopath or something? Is I have to. It has to be. It has to make me one apparently because I don't see nothing wrong here. Um, I'd be harder. So again, don't put me in a position of power. I've said this multiple times. Okay, that's. I think this proves it. Because I don't see the issue. Is there an issue? What has he done wrong? Why are you so hard on him? He's not a very good soldier. Expected that. I'm getting these men ready for battle. Right. You heard me. Hey, back up. Who do you think you are? Acting the high up colonel. He is a colonel. You seem to forget I know you. And? Remember I told you you should have brought this man along, guys? I, I said this. I did say this. All right? Thomas, I get it. You guys are all friends. Fine and dandy. We can be friends again later. But right now, that's not. this is not the time. Thomas, marching is probably all they'll ever get to do, Robert. It is my job uh, to get these men ready. What's interesting is that that's extremely plausible. Marching is all that they will ever really do. Uh, this is more of a publicity stunt than anything else. Uh, and if they are, they're going to be put on to the absolutely self-deletion missions, right? Like the, the ones that you know no one's coming back from. Um, that's going to be probably it, right? We're going we're gonna to trust this, but uh, because there's no other option type of thing. Uh, and we don't want to lose any other men, so let's just lose them, type of thing. That's the vibe I get. My life, if necessary. Maybe so do you, Cabot. Whoa! Cabot? Like, wait, Cabot? Forbes Cabot? 
His first name is Forbes, not last name. Cabot, like the Cabot family from uh, from Fallout. That's the only time I've ever heard the name Cabot. So, I wonder. I think you do. Are you bowing? That bow was a little disrespectful. Yeah! No shame, son. Get up. The, oh, I said, no. Get up. Got the duck, that's all. <laughs> Sergeant, <laughs> deal with that man. I'd like to speak to you for a moment in private. If I may. Nah. Nah. Mm -mm. Men wishing to speak to their commanding officer must first get permission. Listen, this looks rough, I'm sure, from the outside. Uh, but there's a sense of, like, you know, decorum here. And uh, this is inappropriate, bro. And uh, initially, I knew I was right. Every single thing in me said that his life has been too soft for this. It has been. You, went, you, you basically became like a grunt, in a sense. You did that. You... You don't belong here at all. And I'm not even sure you can go home now. So, you know? You understand, Private? Bro, you, bro, listen, you got to take this. Stop crying. Turn around, leave this man sitting here, standing here crying, bro. This is not the right time for this, bro. It isn't. This is your life. You have to accept it. You chose this. This. I tried to warn you through through the screen. All right. You didn't. You just. You didn't take my, my my advice. Not him. He a swell. He what is that more? Yeah. He a weak white boy. Beating on him to make him feel strong. That's not the vibe. Ain't that right, Snowflake? Yeah, you in real school now, though, ain't you? What you gonna do, cry? I knew that was a bad idea, bro. Like, nothing, nothing said. When, I, when, when he decided to start crying, in, in the place where he decided to start crying in, right, I knew nothing good was gonna come from, from that at all. Nothing. There's no, there, listen, you are, you are a grown man in this time crying in public um where like what type of sympathy did you think you were going to get at this time um bro you should have waited till you got to you know, go somewhere in the corner maybe out of the sight of all of these super like th these no that's this is what's gonna work bro and yes um the friend He's saying, oh, you thought he was different. He is, in fact, different. Uh, the difference is, is that no one, for some reason, for some reason, no one really grasps there are levels to this. You are not here to be friends. This isn't a friendship type of place. This isn't like an overly emotional type of place. I understand you're going through it. Your world, your worldview is falling. Um, but nothing good came from you crying where you decided to start crying at. They find out they're liable to shoot you. Is you an old man or is you an old woman? I forget. All right. Yeah, he's he's playing this part beautifully. Um, this is this a uh, crab in a barrel mentality. Uh, it's absolutely terrible to see. Come on, boy. Bro, back up. Merry Christmas, Thomas. All right. That's it. That's it. Move on. We'll talk when this is all over. The, the officers have women. I'm afraid that kind of item has to be reserved for those units whose fighting readiness uh, supersede yours. Uh, you okay. understand, I'm sure. Not really, but okay, yeah. 
I understand. Yes, I understand. Right. Nice meeting you, Shah. Mm. Twit. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bad guy. You're definitely a bad Excuse guy. Me, what is it? We've uh, caught a deserter. Okay, we already know that it's going to be Denzel Washington. Mandatory. There we go, Denzel Washington. Because he's the only one. He's the only one. The prisoner is to be flogged before the entire regiment. Not with a whip, not a man. Oh! Excuse us, Sergeant Mulcahy. It's your pleasure, Colonel. Okay. Ah. Uh. Never question my authority in front of others. Yeah, we. Well, now and all us chillins must learn. Major to Forbes. Oh my God! Stand at attention. Call the massa. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh my oh right sergeant mulcahy commence well obviously based off his characteristics this is not the first time this has happened so which means he'll pull he's gonna pull his shirt off and you're gonna start to see all types of the of the actual the, how many times he's tried to do this in life uh, yeah there we go mm, didn't expect for it to be like that but that's wiles yeah i'm not sure that i mean i get it i guess you know whatever punishment was in place has to be done right but i'm not sure this is meaning anything like at all that's all oh, that single cinematic tear oh that's that's a, that's a great job Great job acting, Denzel. I mean, listen, the imagery of that, that scene is, is rough, obviously. Uh, Forbes was correct in this instance. Um, but there, I'm not sure there could have been any other way they cannot, specifically the commanding officers, could not um, show that, that um, desertion is an option for people. They, they cannot. Uh, so how do you do it? He treated he treated Denzel's character uh, like I'm guessing he would have treated any other deserter from um, any of the other regiments. I'm guessing at least. I don't know if everyone gets you know lashed like that. Not sure. Um, but it feels like based off of knowing his character so far, I'm guessing that's probably just what it is, bro. But yeah, the imagery is crazy. It's what it is. The boy was off trying to find himself some shoes, Colonel. He wants to fight. Same as the rest of us. Oh, oh my. More. Well, that's, you know. Not for anybody. I see, pity. I'll just have a look around, see that you haven't misplaced them, hmm? Without proper shoes because you think it's funny? Now, where would that power come from? Uh, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. Look, uh, have a drink. Let's have some shoes. Have a drink. All right. See? Right. And I think this just this moment here um, just solidified the the union slightly better than anything else could have. I think, right? Um, so now you have the colonel saying, "Listen, I need you to fight for us. Matter of fact, fight for me." Right? Um, he just fought for them. All right. I think that's the moment. This is the moment right here. You men enlisted in this regiment, and the understanding. That you would be paid the regular oh, no. army wage of thirteen dollars a month. This morning I have been notified. They're not giving you your since money. Since you are a colored regiment, where you going, boy? It gets paid ten dollar, a lot of money. 
Hey, Pop, you finna lay down for this too? What else can you do, unfortunately? Hey, listen, listen, I, it is absolutely fair, completely, that that guy is, 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 you know, he's angry that he's not getting the money that he should be getting. Um, unfortunately, in the time that you're in, sir, I'm not sure that you really have much of an option, but I respect you for standing up for yourself. I do. I just don't see the, the, the value in it. Because like, if your family is hungry right now, waiting for that, for money, a little bit, you know, that $10 is better than zero. Based off the fact that the government already said, eh, I'm not giving you $13. What are you gonna do? You one specific person. If you men will take no pay, then none of us will. Didn't expect that. Bro, he's really good at what he does. Like, he understands. Man, I forgot how hot it was down here. Welcome home, boy. The humidity worry, gets buddy. you. Look. So, of initiative taken not only for yourself, but on behalf of the entire regiment. You are hereby awarded the rank of Sergeant Major. All right. Congratulations. Big congratulations. Big, big congratulations. Cause where is this? Like Savannah, maybe? Um, maybe somewhere in South Carolina. I mean, maybe potentially it's Charleston. Where is this? And see, look, guys. I was gonna say B Beaufort, Buford, guys. I was definitely gonna say this here. Um, I have an issue with figuring out how this is actually pronounced guys if you guys can help me in the comments i've been through here a lot um, i love this place specifically uh where forrest gump was mainly filmed in this location here uh, i love the like the little islands around it the history of the place is interesting uh, there's also like an old spanish fort um here if i can actually remember um i had photographed it uh the last time i went there but either way um it's a beautiful place and the Spanish moss is literally everywhere surrounding the area. Colonel Montgomery's a real jayhawker from Kansas. The contraband regiment is his brainchild. You didn't think okay. those were the only colors around? Good. Very good. A pleasure. Good night. Beggar Am I wrong here? I don't want to sit here and, and just, you know, I don't want to be that guy, but I don't like him. Right? I mean, he's rubbing me all wrong. His energy is wrong. It's off. I think he's a bad guy. I think he's masquerading as a good guy. But I, in fact, think that he's a bad guy. You are from Boston, are you not? Yes. It is impossible to imagine Boston with slaves. Remember I told you about its vibe? I was like, yeah, I don't know. Something weird. Darien, Georgia. Where's that? Never heard of that place. Well, all right. You hear that, boys? Let's clear her out! What are you doing? Why are you going in? Why are you this town in the name of the Republic? <laughs> Hey boy, take your hands off the white lady. I thought she was Shasesh. 
Make up your mind. What contradictions these are. You see, secession has got to be swept away by the hand of God like the Jews of old. Listen, I agree, right? Secession in itself should be swept away. But how you're kind of doing it, how you're approaching it, is absolutely disgusting, sir. All right? Secessionists are treason, are treasonist. All right? That's what they are exclusively. I agree. All right? And treason is terrible. Treason is bad in general. Right? So I get it. I, I understand you slightly, but how you're going about it is terrible. And now I'll have to burn this town. Like, this is that interesting part, right? Where you have people who were obviously, you know, in, in support of secession and just open treason, right? They were absolutely in support of it. Then you had people who were not. Uh, they just so happened to live in the region. Hmm. They, they just so happened to live in a region. Now, did they benefit while living in the region of, of you know, yes. They did. They absolutely benefited in some way. They may not support the treason aspect of it, but as you see, there's still cotton here, right? Uh, where'd that come from? So, so you still benefited in some way from the local trade, even though you didn't, you may, you may not have partaken in it, let's say. Um, are these people as guilty as the ones that are just in open treason? I don't think so. I don't think they're as guilty, right? I mean, maybe guilty by proximity, uh, but I'm not sure if this was actually warranted. And I also just researched out where uh, Darien, Georgia is. Um, that walk, guys, uh, I don't know if they did it in the morning. Let's just say that. Uh, you had to pass a lot of other islands and a lot of other places. Uh, Beaufort or Beaufort, okay? Uh, you have to pass Port Royal, Paris Island, uh, Hilton Head Island, uh, Tybri Island, uh, Skidaway Island, Savannah, Georgia, okay, um, and then all the way down to a place called Richmond Hill, and there's a small town on the water. Oh, no, it's even further. And you keep going down. No, there's no way this happened in one day. Not that walk. Not with this amount of people. Um, unless it took multiple, multiple days. Then I'll agree. But I'm just gonna, and you would have definitely passed the rebels going through most likely Savannah. So I don't know how this was even plausible. That's a long walk. There it goes. 73 hours of walking is 204 miles. <laughs> All right, bro. That's three days. Constant walking, never stopping or sleeping. <laughs> hey, hey, come on now, buck up, boys. Hey, buck up now, come on. Bro, don't do that. Come on. See, someday they're gonna let the 54 get into it, see? I figured this war would be over a whole lot sooner if you boys just turn right on around, head on back down that way. And you let us head on up there. Is that Hector Salamanca? No. Is it? Where the real fighting is, huh? The men dying up that road. And it wouldn't be nothing no, but Rebs dying if so. they let the 54th in it. Good thing of a train. Let's we'll we'll drop a banjo, boy. Come on. It's crazy how that's like an insult. Go strum, go, go strum a banjo when I don't know a single person in this day and age, at least, that, that looks like that looks like them at least right that plays the banjo the banjo almost exclusively is reminiscent of bluegrass or country music such an interesting thing how things tend to uh turn right i've got the god let me use your look tucking them big black lips lighten your skin shrink up that nose i don't have to listen to this right where you going boy he hates himself so much. Let me buy. Let you buy. Let you buy. Right. You can you can even wear his suits, but you ain't right. never gonna be nothing to him but okay. an ugly ass chimp in a blue suit. All right, that doesn't. Uh, who cares? 
You're the one that cares about these things. Oh, you don't like that, dude. And all the time I'm digging, I'm asking myself when, when, oh Lord, is going to be our time. Well, time's coming when we're going to have to ante up. Ante up and kick in like men. Like men! You watch who you call it. Then it's right here, it's you. It's him. It is, it is, it is him. Okay? Him and everyone who acts like him. All right? Let's play, let's stop playing these games here. All right, uh, this, this reaction is going to get me canceled. I smell it. But let's, again, okay, but listen. <laughs> now imagine this man right here, all right? He, this is all over now. He goes home, it was the 1860s, okay. He goes home, he has a kid, all right? He raises his kid with this same level of toxic nonsense, nonsense, okay? Uh, and now, all right, that kid grows up and it happens again with the same toxic nonsense from this man that, that this was created, okay? Then, t then multiply that one toxic kid and, and the descendant, right, by like the amount of people you see on the screen. Not right now, but in generally, in general. The people who were involved in... Um, this uh, in slavery, as in they were the descendants. Okay, M multiply that, and then put them all together in in an area in in the United States of America. They create that. Okay, they create that, that place. They all hate each other because they they a lot of the times hate themselves, and then just watch it all unfold. <laughs> okay, Chicago. Shall I go on? Mm. Can you? I can report you to the War Department. Oh, yes. I can do that. Be careful. Uh, hopefully you'll make it out of this office. That's what you want, isn't it? Show what they can do. When? <laughs> you are bright-eyed, aren't you? When? Just as soon as I can write the orders. I always found it odd how movies and sometimes TV shows, they just mention places, right? Uh, you know, obviously this is all filmed in the same basic place, most likely somewhere in South Carolina, right? Beaufort or Beaufort, let's say. That's that's an obvious what it feels like. But the point is, I'm trying to make here, is they, they always make distances seem like they're closer than they are. Right, I would have loved to see the travel uh, th from where they said they were last time uh, to James Island, which is basically South Carolina, which is uh, Charleston. It's Charleston. It's like the main island. It's never that easy. Bro, reload. You should have been reloading. Mm. All right, we're gonna get some respect going forward. How do, Colonel? Hurts, doesn't it? You'll be back in Boston before me, sitting by the fire, reading Hawthorne. Cup of decent coffee? I'm not going back. Thomas, listen to me. You're shot. You have to go back. Bro, you had your out. But I get it. I mean, he joined for a reason. He's not looking for an out. He's looking to do something, actually, you know, for himself and his country. Respect. Are you wearing a fresh set of Brazilian panties? Maybe. He may be. I don't think we got a prayer making the paper. I, I'll talk to you later in your tent. Guys, we have such a beautiful country. I 
think you should bear the regimental colors. You have value, you sir. Right in honor. Why not? He has no value in himself. Well, so I'm he wanted to say something, sir, but I Okay. See, um I ain't fighting this war for you, sir. Right. I see. We ain't help him kick in, sir. But I still don't want to carry your flag. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Carlson, without first silencing the forts with ocean in the marsh, leave only a narrow strip of sand, a natural defile to which we can only send one regiment at a time. Now, our best hope is that that leading regiment can keep the Rebs occupied long enough for reinforcements to exploit the breach. All right. So I'm guessing this is going to be the um, uh, the self deletion mission. All right. Because this has to be that. This is that. Uh, yeah. You're defining. A place where no one can kind of come back alive. Needless to say. That's right, sir. And you think they have the strength to lead this charge? We'll There's see. more fighting than rest, sir. There's character. There's strength of heart. Okay. Yeah, but you're going to make more mistakes in this position. You should have seen us in action two days ago. First, your first action. We were a sight to see. I mean, we, we got some 1860s rap by the sounds of it. It's okay. Nothing I'll write home about. We stand before you this evening to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you, Father. For your grace you. and your many blessings. Yes, sir. Now, I run off and left all my young'uns and my kinfolk. Okay, guys, I just want to point out something really quickly. I am not sure that this that the backlight should be this bright. Uh, there's another shot coming in. I'm guessing like, like a B cam or something. Um, it's pointing from this direction, pointing in. And I think they recognized that it was way too bright, hence the reason why they turned it off on that secondary scene here, guys. Like here? Okay, yeah, it looks great from the front, A-cam, solid, right? Um, it's much cooler, the light at least, uh, than the actual key light here. It's really weird lighting, guys. See, they recognized that it was bad. So what did they do? They didn't put it at all. They turned it off. They were like, "Listen, this is not a good shot. <laughs> this was not good lighting." And they turned it off on this on the B cam, um, meaning that this was obviously uh, you know recorded multiple times, and these are these were not at the same time. It just wasn't. Right. Um, but all right, let's get it. And never had no family. Killed off my mama. Well. You did? <laughs> There's a difference here, right? So, for example, you see him, he's starting to tear up. It's fine. This is the moment where you could be doing all the crying and things like that, bro. It's fine. Do your thing, right? But when Thomas did it, was absolutely the worst time you could possibly start crying. Okay? The worst time. But all right. Bro, how about we open up just a little bit? We ready, kind of. What does that mean when you, like... Yeah, so they finally earned some type of respect, but I'm guessing because the, the way they're setting this up, guys, nothing good is going to come from this.
Yeah, guys, like all of the tropes are coming to fruition here. He's looking at the ocean. Let me guess, for the last time, are we about to, are we about to lose him? See the birds flying. Yeah, I think we're going to lose all of the main characters. Is it the end? This is the end. He became a man today, guys. Look at that. Guys, wait, hold on. The guy holding the... So the guy holding the flag is like the number one to get basically, you know, taken off the map. He has no firearm. He, he's just going into the scenario holding a flag. Oh, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. And they have howitzers, right? We got it. Ah! Guys, it's crazy. There really is a red glare to these rockets. Ah! There are definitely bombs bursting in the air. That's painful. Definitely a great choice on the scoring. Well, that's how that happened. Oh my God. Whew. Okay, were there any survivors from the 54th? Any. No. Crazily morbid version of like capture the flag bro this is crazy i hope he wakes up again like he did last time guys seriously i think he's uh really good at the position that he held over half okay Oh, wowzers, guys. This movie was a, a troubling one at times, right? Um, because it definitely showed you a lot of times how and why things kind of are in, let's say, certain communities in, in the United States of America. You kind of you see the, you know, uh, why things can get weird sometimes, let's say. Uh, I think the acting throughout was always amazing. Always. I mean, I mean, obviously, they had so many great actors uh, that were part of this uh, this project here. Um, I did not expect for it to end like this, because generally we don't have the entire cast wiped away at the end. You know, that's not normally how that happens, but that's what happened this time. This is a movie that I would probably call a masterpiece. I, I kind of felt the vibes of it from the beginning. Um, it's a very grand movie. I have no idea who produced it. I'm waiting for the name to pop up. Like, who directed this movie? Great job throughout. And now the, the title of the movie itself makes all the sense in the world. Uh, like, the entire time I was like, bro, what does this have to do with glory? 
until the end, till the last 20 minutes of the movie. And it was just like, oh, the only reason why they did this was to prove that they were worth something, that they had some type of value, right? And they did it, in fact, all for the namesake of the movie Glory. Um, all right. Listen, I like I like these type of movies. I like encountering them um, because you can see what some people have had to go through or still go through um, in support of the nation that they are absolutely firm, guys. Um, I love that. Right? But I, what I don't love specifically is the loss of the unnecessary loss of human life because we can't come up with a solution for problems other than physical atrocities. And uh, what we see here is an absolute atrocity. This is why aliens don't come and visit us. Why would they come and visit us? Look, look at what we do to ourselves. Okay, Look at this. This is what we do to ourselves. It pisses me off. Seriously. But if you would like to see the full length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier. All right. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.